Hi there guys, I just wanted to make a quick update video regarding the version 2 of the Polylang AI automatic translation plugin that I'm building and planning to release in beta November 2nd. Uh, I just want to keep you involved, this is a quick update video. Not everything works as it should be in the real production version, but uh, at least you are um, involved in the process. So. Um, this is the new bulk translation overview and what the big change as you can see is that it always shows all your content types so all your category terms taxonomies and post types and it shows per language um, the progress you can also like translate translate from here so you always have a complete overview of what is translated and what is not um, then there's a translation log that logs everything that is happening during automatic translation. Um, also, uh, errors are logged here and you have the log per day. So it's very easy to um, debug if something goes wrong because then it's probably in the logs. Then you have a new single translation um, interface. Uh, as you can see, uh, you have all the languages here and you can see by color what is translated or what needs new translation. And you can also see when something translated um, by date and time. So that's uh, the biggest change in this plugin update is that it has a separate database table that stores everything that is happening during automatic translation. So you always have a history back of when uh, did what happen and i can quickly demo it to you so you still have your instruction field here in your force mode but for example if i click italian and this one and um, african then i click start translation and then you see per language what is happening here you see how many tasks it completes and here are the translations successfully um, done so that's a big update. It is an update um, front-end wise, but especially back-end wise. But that's something you cannot see, of course. Um, and then here is still the settings page, but the it looks um, quite the same with the same options. The only big change is that we now have native integrations with Cloud, Gemini and OpenRooter and OpenAI with all the uh, latest models you can choose from. And you still have the website context and you have the um, you can now also set the max output tokens here if you want to adjust them um, I think that's it front end wise I can show you let me see if there's something else yeah maybe I can show you uh, the build translation in progress so let's say I click translate all it starts translating here and now it's going to finish all the posts. This can take some time, of course, because it worked with background pros processes. Um, and then it will log here everything. I think that's basically it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a huge update uh, in terms of bulk translation because that's the main focus and value proposition we have as a plugin. I think a lot of uh, other developers are now trying to build a um, polylang AI automatic translation plugin but they don't focus very well on bulk translation and that's in the end basically what you want you want to install this plugin uh, have the plugin discover all your content that is available for translation click one button you go to sleep and your site is perfectly translated in your own context for your audience as well that's the end goal and I'm I think uh, we are uh, heading towards this goal uh, very successfully now. So I'm very excited to uh, share this with you and I hope I can share the beta release the second week of November. Okay, so nice now you're um, updated again and I only have 30 seconds left, I see. So I have to stop this <laughs> um, recording. Okay, bye, thank you very much uh, for supporting and hope to see you soon. Bye.